hello everybody welcome back to my channel happy sunday and as always it is another beautiful day for some mary Kay. so today's video is going to be a little different um as you guys you know a couple seconds in you can already figure it out my face isn't done yet that means i'm going to show you guys how i do my foundation and contouring and all of that jazz today so that's why my face is bare we're starting from scratch and that's the video for today um, i'm very excited i've been working for a really long time on like perfecting my foundation and and the way it looks and it's it's a hassle so we're gonna go through that today okay so again, happy Sunday. Thank you for joining me. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Um, also click on that bell so you'll get notified anytime I upload a new video, which is every Sunday. Um, and then maybe here and there I'll throw some extras in there depending on what's going on. And if there's any new launches or anything like that, I'll be posting those as well. So today I'm going to be going through a lot of products. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, disclaimer. Disclaimer, disclaimer, here we go. Not all of the products I use today will be Mary Kay. <gasps> Gasp, I know. But sometimes some products that you just, you love the whole line, you love everything about them, but sometimes some of their products don't work perfectly, perfectly for your skin. I'm one of those people. Sometimes Mary Kay products just don't work really well on my skin and they don't work well with sometimes together and they just look really cakey and it's just not a good look. So not only do I use other products to kind of compare and contrast how they compare to Mary Kay products and kind of get an idea of maybe where we need to improve as a company, but I also do it because sometimes I just need something different for my skin. This is a thing, it's not a bad thing. If you're a consultant, please don't think for a second that you have to use completely all Mary Kay stuff. Yes, it's great to use it, but if it doesn't work for your skin, don't use it on your skin. Please use what helps your skin. Use what is best with the look that you're going for, okay? I love my Mary Kay. I can't say it enough. My skincare, all Mary Kay, all day. Most of my makeup, all Mary Kay, all day. But there's just a few products here and there I do have to switch up. So that is my disclaimer. So as we're going through this video and I pick up something that's not Mary Kay, and you're like, oh my God, that's not a Mary Kay product. Now you know why, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. And to start off with, I've already washed my face and um, put my skincare, the rest of my skincare on, my eye cream and my night solution. Um, or my, I'm sorry, my day solution. And then now we're gonna get into the rest of the makeup, okay? So to start off with, I have been loving this product recently. It's doing so well for my skin and it's been great on keeping me hydrated. And that is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base, okay? So I'm gonna take just a little bit of this on my finger. And this is what I start off with, okay? I do use a lot, so right now I am in the process of the Clinical Solutions, and that's an eight-week retinization process. Now, during that process, my skin, along with a lot of other people's, is getting very, very dry, okay? So my skin right now needs a lot of extra moisture. So on top of the milk that comes along with the, the Clinical Solutions, um, when it comes to makeup, I am using something that's very rich in moisture. Um, so a, a face base that's vitamin rich to start off with has been doing wonders for my skin. I still use my Mary Kay primer if I'm just going like makeup list for the day or doing like a no makeup makeup day, I will use that primer. But for this and the way my skin is acting and for a full face, I love this Bobbi Brown. It is amazing. All right. So while that is on and sitting, I'm gonna put everything away here. I'm gonna try and keep this as organized as possible because right now my makeup station is packed, packed. I'm gonna do a full look for you guys. Um, I'm just doing my face on camera. I'm gonna go off camera and do eyes and lashes and brows and all that stuff and I'll come back uh, with a full complete look and talk to you guys some more, okay? So 
just get that nice and packed in there. It's so moisturizing. Oh, I love it. Now, next step for me um, while that's soaking in is I'm actually going to curl my lashes. I like to curl my lashes before mascara um, or primer, even my, la my lash primer if I use a primer. I haven't been eating one recently. My lashes are actually really growing nicely. So I think it's because I've been taking so much biotin, which is great. So I'm just going to get in here with my Mary Kay Lash Curler. Give it a couple pumps. Do the other eye. Get those nice and curled. Good to go there. Now, next step for me is I'm taking the Jeffree Star Color Corrector in orange. Um, this I use for my really, really dark spots. I have a lot of scarring. Um, and I have a lot of unwanted facial hair. Um, it happens. Um, so I do try and, and wax or shave that off just to get rid of it. But I do get dark spots here and there. Um, Mary Kay does not have an orange for dark brown or dark like blue um, spots or uh, facial hair. So I use Jeffree Star. Now this a little bit goes a very long way, very long way. So I'm just gonna take it and wherever I have really, really dark spots that I just need to, it's opposite of the color wheel, blue, opposite orange, okay? So dark spots, that is plenty. And that's actually probably gonna be a little too much, but we'll see how it goes, okay? So then I'm gonna take my little sponge here. I have my Damp Beauty sponge. These are the Mary Kay sponges because they're little. And I'm just gonna pat this in here, guys, okay? Just to get rid of the darkness. It's gonna even this out. See, that's oh, might have been too much, but we're gonna blend it out anyways. We'll make it work, always do. So I especially like to do this between waxes because I don't like to shave because then it just goes back and it's thicker and it's just not attractive. And I'm just going to be real with you guys because that's what you guys are looking for. You want somebody that's going to tell you how they do their makeup truthfully. You want somebody that's going to tell you that you get up close and you see all their pores and their scars. You don't want to watch a tutorial and somebody's got a filter all over their face. So you're like, oh, their face looks fantastic. That's awesome. I want my skin to look like that. And then you see them in real life or an unfiltered photo and you're like, wait a minute, that's not right. No, you want it truthful. You want it 100% facts. This is what I have to do to my face. It's just how it is. Unfortunately, I would love perfect skin. I don't have it yet. I'm working on it. I'm gonna get there. But for right now, these are my processes. And I'm not gonna hide it from you. Cause I'd be lying. And I'm not gonna do that. Okay, now next is another color corrector. Green for redness. Again, opposite of your color wheel. Green is great if you've got redness anywhere on your face. So anywhere that I've got inflammation, um, acne scars, anything that's bright red. And I am going to overlap these sometimes. Sometimes I've got redness around my scarring. Sometimes I've got redness around where I've got a little bit of facial hair. And again, back to that same beauty blender, just the other side. I'm going to blend these out. I'm just going to pat these in here just to reduce the look of that redness and help even out my skin tone. See that? Doesn't take a lot. And again, uh, that is the Mary Kay color corrector. My skin has been going through it. This retinization process, 
it's it's going great my skin is looking brighter looking healthier but my skin is still not 100 percent agreeing with the process because it is retinol it's taking all these layers off it's getting rid of my scarring or let it lessening my scarring making my skin look brighter and more vibrant but it's still a process so i've got a couple spots that need just a little bit of deliverance okay but that's life all right now last but not least in the color correcting yes a third color corrector again mary Kay. the lavender is for brightness so i'm actually going to put this under my eyes and brighten up maybe a little bit down the side i need to brighten up under my eye area lavender is great for brightening your skin so now i'm gonna take the other side same beauty blender i use the same beauty blender for all of my color correcting because it's nice to also get that mixture of colors because sometimes in the same in the same spot you've got multiple issues so again get that lavender going under my eyes to help get rid of my dark circles and brighten that up See how it just lightens that area up, kind of brightens it. I know, I look a little crazy right now. It'll all work out in the end, I promise. Okay, color correctors are finally done. Next, I'm going in with concealer, Mary Kay's concealer in light beige. So I'm gonna take that and all over my face. Again, for many, many years, I had really bad acne. Got a lot of acne scars. Ooh, I have a cat hair in my nose. So I have a lot of spots that need concealing. So I just take this and put it everywhere. Kind of like layer of foundation, pretty much. It's like my first layer of foundation. Now, with another damp beauty blender. Here it is. Bigger beauty blender. Gonna start patting this all in. I love beauty blenders on a day where I'm wearing full coverage because it's just gonna pat it in and get it in everywhere and make it even. Sometimes brushes can get a little streaky. So I honestly prefer beauty blenders. Pat that in everywhere. Get an even look going. Even out that skin tone and even out the color corrector so again this is the Mary Kay concealer the perfect concealer in light beige that's what I use for my skin right now I do change it as my skin tone changes in the summer and the winter gotta make sure everything matches you can't use the same colors all year round I mean, you can, you're just gonna look crazy, but you can do it. <laughs> it's, it's possible. All right. There we go. Just evening out everything. Trying to get as close to one tone as we can. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my foundation. So right now, the foundation color that I use 
is the Mary Kay Matte 3D Foundation in Beige N, it's not the right one, N210, no, 200, yeah, 200 is what I use right now. Um, I'm kind of in between the 210 and the 200, so right now the, the 200 works for me. So I'm gonna grab another beauty blender here, another damp one, and I'm just gonna put some on the sponge. Put it right on the sponge. I'm gonna do one side at a time, okay? Can I, get to, I can get it to stand, ha. <laughs> Sometimes it just topples over. So I'm just gonna pat that on the face. One side at a time. And then, just go to town. And make sure you're doing kind of section by section, um, just to make sure you're getting all your coverage that you need or want in every section, okay? So just little by little, add slowly to your whole face. Take your time. Make sure you got all the coverage you need. Grab some more. So right now I'm using my samples because I'm waiting for my other, my new Mary Kay order to come in, which has the actual full size in it. So now I'm just kind of going through all of my samples and hoping I have enough to last me until my actual gets here. Make sure you're getting your neck under your chin. You don't want the mask effect. You don't want to stop right here. Carry it down. Okay, now I'll open another one.
All right, now the foundation is done. It's in there. So now we're gonna go in with a couple different things. So we're gonna go in with highlight and contour. So I do two different types of both, okay? So I start with my creams. I bit my tongue. Oh. I start with my creams and then I set them with my powders, okay? So for my contour, I'm gonna go in with that first. I'm going with the Mary Kay at play in um, Sculpt 1. This is the lighter of the two shades. There's also a Sculpt 2, which is a little bit darker. So here is the Sculpt 1. Now, I'm to contour my cheek, I actually start in my hair, okay? On both sides. And I can always bring it more forward, but I don't wanna bring it too far down because then it's gonna be just too much right in here. So I start actually in my hairline and then I do just a little dots across my forehead and down the side. And then under my chin to slim the face. And then for highlight, I'm going in with Jeffree Star again and his concealer in C6.5. And I'm going right under the eye. And this is going to brighten under my eye. I'm going to go down my nose. So I don't contour my nose. Um, I just, it, it, it's never looked good on me. Maybe I just really stink at doing it, but it's just not something that I do. So I do highlight my nose, but I don't contour. Okay. So that's what I use for highlighting contour to start with. Now, I'm gonna take, again, another beauty blender. Here it is. So, with the bottom of my beauty blender here, the flat part, I'm gonna squish it together, and I'm gonna start to pat this in and blend the contour out. See how I'm not bringing it too far forward? You can still see it, and it slims my cheeks, but it's not so far forward that it just looks kind of silly. So, I'm just gonna blend this out. Blend under my chin. So this is gonna, when you're doing under your chin, it's gonna, chisel's gonna give you um, like a shadow, which will make your face look slimmer. Right on the jawline. And then on this other side here. So we're just gonna pat it and just bring it forward. Again, see, you can still see it. It's right there, but it doesn't come too far forward, okay? And then same thing up here. So I usually don't do too much on like my forehead area. Um, I'm usually wearing, you know, doing something with my hair um, that's gonna cover that. So I don't go too crazy on my forehead. But I still want to make sure that I get a little bit of contour there, okay? And then with the other side, the pointed side of the, the Beauty Blender, I'm just going to get in with my highlight and just right under the eye to brighten that area. That's why I put that there. We're going to brighten right under that eye. See that? Bring it down just a little bit on the cheeks and up by the brow. Now, I know some people, when it comes to like their whole, like they're doing their foundation or their concealer, they'll conceal their eyes to make everything even. I don't do that because I don't want too much product on my eyes when I try and do my, my uh, eyeshadow. 
so that's why I don't do that I leave that alone there we go just nice brightening under the eyes a little bit any residual left I kind of like to bring it up and highlight the center of my forehead but again usually I've got something a headband or um, you know I'll style my hair where it kind of pulls forward so I don't really do too much with my forehead it's usually covered <laughs> a hat whatever it may be okay now now that we've used a powder now we want to start to set it, set it in place so it'll stay. So this is where the second part of my highlight and my contour comes in. So now I'm going to use powders. So for my contour, I'm going in with my contour in Latte. So I'm gonna grab an angled brush here, dip into Mary Kay Latte, just a little, and then same spot, just right over where that's at, and just deepen that just a little bit and start to blend it out. Okay. Same thing on the other side. And of course I go through and I will clean up the hair, you know, that's on the side of my face and make sure there's no makeup in it. But for right now, I'm gonna leave it. Blend, blend, blend. And something I used to do that I don't do anymore is I used to bake under my eyes. Um, and what that ended up doing was just really making my eyes look cakey and kind of peely. So I did stop doing that. I do put powder under my eyes to set them, but I don't do as much. Um, just enough to set it and keep it in place, okay? So now we're gonna go under the chin with that contour again. dusting off the excess so you're not getting just a really sharp thing of color kind of like right here I need to blend this out a little bit more and if for some reason you get that sharp color right there just take your beauty blender whatever your foundation or your concealers on and just kind of pat around it so you're gonna lighten that up just a little bit Just right here on the side. Kind of like a C right here. Now I'm going to go in next with my blush. So I love um, Rogue Rose, or Desert Rose, I'm sorry. This is Desert Rose. So again, in my compact, Latte Desert Rose. That's my go-to blush. It's just a really, really pretty color for me. It works out nicely. So it's a little bit darker, not as pinky. So again, I'm gonna put that right over top of my contour. Not over top of it, but right, ab right above it. Just a little bit. Just nicely buff this out. Other side. I don't do a lot of blush. Um, just not. I just like to add just a little bit of color to the cheeks. But not a lot. Uh, I'm sorry, I might have a little bit more than I, I would prefer. But we're going to run with it today. And I don't bring it same. Uh, 
again, same thing. You get it too far forward by chance, take your, your beauty blender again. That is blush. Now, we're gonna go in with setting powder for the rest of the face. Um, now for my setting powder, I use um, Beauty Bakery's Flower. Um, it's a great setting powder for a matte finish. It works really well with my face. Um, I sometimes get oily, definitely in my T-zone and on my cheeks. Um, and this does great for that. Um, and it's also in the shade um, yellow. So I love Mary Kay's setting powder, but it's only in translucent. And unfortunately for me, the translucent actually kind of pales my face out a little bit. I need something with a little bit of a tone to it. So I do use the Beauty Bakery's flower. Okay, that's what I set my face with. I love it, it's great. It's a, fan, it's a fantastic setting powder. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is take it on a fluffy brush here and I'm gonna pack this right under my eyes. So this is how I set my eyes and actually it's how I set most of my face now. So definitely wanna make sure that anywhere I get oily, I definitely get a lot more of it. So it's kind of like baking, just not as intense, okay? So just lightly dust that on there. Just a little bit, goes a long way. And then I'll get under my chin and just set the rest of my face. Make sure I get my forehead. but definitely, definitely under my eyes. I want, I really get oily sometimes. I get nice and shiny under my eyes, my T-zone, um, and right here in my smile lines. And this is great for not creasing too. Get around my nose. And I'll still put a little bit, you know, even though I've set my contour um, and my highlight with other powders, um, I'm still gonna put a little bit of setting powder on top of those as well just to make sure they stay in place so just a little bit nice light dusting all over the face and now I'm gonna go in with some highlight Yes, 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 I am. Where did I put it? You are. All right. So I'm going to go in with some Mary Kay highlight here. I got to get it out of the way so it doesn't mix with any of the other shades. And this is um, glazed is the color that I'm going to use pull it up here so I can show you guys. So this is glazed. So this is what I'm gonna use as my highlight. And for my highlight, I will take another, again, just a nice brush. And I highlight just right above the blush. See that? Nice subtle highlight right above the blush. You wanna highlight in areas where light naturally hits on your face. So, and anywhere you've got natural lighting that makes your face kind of brighter and shine a little bit more, that's where you wanna highlight so you always have the natural look of a highlight. So, again, right around the cheekbones. I do the tip of my nose. Cupid's bow to highlight my lips when I do my lipstick. I also go above my eyebrow. Just just a little bit. I don't go too crazy with it. Okay. 
See, you can just see that extra glow. Put a little bit more on my Cupid's bow here. And maybe just a little on my chin. And then that is my highlight. And that also completes how I do my face. So I'm gonna get just a little closer here so you guys can see. So that's it, my face is now set. Um, I will carry the powder with me around for the day um, just to make sure I can kind of spot powder as I need to if, if my face is getting a little oily, I need a little extra care there, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get off camera. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'll be right back.